hold on, on and win. And uh, we are blessed to see that race tonight and the sprint's coming up. This is the ninth. They're set to run. And they're away. Aston Figaro was last to leave. Best out was Raven Peter. There's Speed Leroy's girl and also Invictus Harry. But Peter's away. Raven Peter gets out by six lengths. Hidden Stone swept around to get the second. Leroy's girl was on the rail. Next, Invictus Harry. Well back, Port Dimitra. Then came Aston Figaro. And last of all was Blistered Earth. But on the arm is Raven Peter. Seven lengths in front of Hidden Stones and Leroy's girl. Right up against the Dulux. Raven Peter bolted in. Nine lengths. Second, Paul Demetra. Third, Leroy's Girl. Fourth in was Hidden Stones. Next across was Aston Figaro, followed by Invictus Harry and Blistered Earth. And the time is good, 29 and 89. Number seven, Raven Peter, the winner, has... Tested over 600 metres. So is it somewhat surprising to see him begin as well as what he's done tonight? Not really. I handled him in the um, St. Ledger at Warrigal over four, I think it's 460, 450. And um, he jumped straight to the front like that as well. So we know he can do it. He just decides when he wants to. In all likelihood, he'll probably step back up in distance at some point? Uh, most likely. He's run home 12, 10. Yeah, I think it's probably smart of Tom dropping him back. He's jumped straight to the front. He's been at racing over 600. So um, maybe dropping him back has helped him get to the front a little bit. And it's shaping up to be quite a night for the team as well. And who knows what's possible in the next. Yes. Um, yeah, it's been good. So hopefully it keeps getting better. <laughs> good job. Thanks very much. Corey Heinrich there, guys, after the win of Raven Peter. First out, first home. And pretty dominant as we now build up to the top gun. What a performance. And what a... Number seven. Dragon box next door. Straight to the lead. And there was trouble. Uh, they were like... Pinballs bashing each other on the turn out of the straight on the first time, Nathan. And as you said, this greyhound's uh, been going well over the 600. Bang, too strong. Yeah, back to 500. Wide draw, vacant box inside. He just ticked a lot of boxes. He just had to begin on terms. And when he began in front and the interference was there behind, which made the margin big, but I don't think it was necessary. He's run 508, 17, 76, 29, 86. So that's as good as they're going to go here tonight. We've seen the free-for-all not break 30 seconds. So he's a quality dog. He's a group-listed winner of the Warrigal St. Ledger half a dozen runs ago. And as I've touched on, he's been up to the 595 and 600. He's got a bit of a freshen up here. And once he uh, was able to find the lure, she was curtains, Dave. It was a pretty easy watch for Raven Peter in the first heat of the Grade 5 um, series that we see a few more heats on later in the night. Yep, absolutely. But right on the arm, Raven Peter, just too good for them. A son of Aston Rupee and My Black Ravens. Won 8 of 21 now. Three of those wins have been on this track and four over this journey. But 10 and a quarter lengths, it says it all. The five, uh, poor Petrop, the two and the one, they're all at odds. They ran decent races. But look, it was... Seven in the frame and really was daylight second. Yeah, it was. Ten lengths is the biggest winning margin as we're going to see tonight. And it was at early speed and getting to the corner first. The interference come and he was just off and gone. As we touched on, he's a, he's a pretty strong greyhound. He used the wide draw to perfection and, and he was a winner soon after Boxer Eyes. Fantastic stuff. All right. Uh, nine races have been run and won here at the Meadows. The next is the Group 1 Top Gun Sprint. And we'll be back.